and the, our theme was to be uh, abounding grace for greater exploits in life and ministry. Abounding grace for exploits in life and ministry. And I was looking at in Second Corinthians chapter nine. And in verse 8, the Bible says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Amen. Amen. I pray that the grace of God will abound in our lives to accomplish great things for God in our calling, in our ministry, and in our, you know, our, our pursuits secularly. In every area of our life, the Lord will cause his grace to abound in Jesus' name. Amen. We know we have a ministry. We know we have a calling. And we cannot accomplish the things that we need to accomplish whether in our life or in our ministry, without the grace of God. For us to be able to have a good impact in our lives, in our communities, for the glory of God, for us to be able to fulfill the uh, ministry that God has committed into our hands, and for us to be able to accomplish, you know, worthwhile things and goals in life, and in ministry, we need the grace of God. We need, in fact, not just grace, we need abounding grace. We need the grace to abound. And God has promised us in his word that he is able to make all grace to abound towards us, that we will have all sufficiency in all things. We have all sufficiency in all things and we'll be able to have abound to all good works. So this morning, we are going to commit ourselves into God's hands. And we are going to pray and say, Lord God of heaven, you have committed, you know, ministry into our hands. We have this fellowship of the people of God, of the ministers of God. And we want to be able to accomplish the things that we have, you know, set, up, set aside as concerning the mission and the, the vision of the, of the ministry that we have. There are a lot of things that we need to do. We need his grace. We need his grace. And so we are going to commit ourselves into God's hands and say, Lord God, do according to your word and promise. Multiply your grace in our lives so that we can accomplish the purpose for which you have called us in life and in ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to God in prayer this morning and let's commit ourselves into God's hands and ask the Lord that we need his grace. We need his grace to be able to accomplish the purpose for which he has called us into ministry. We need abounding grace. Yeah, and he has promised us that he will make his grace to abound so much in our lives that we will have all sufficiency. We have all sufficiency in all things and we will abound to every good work. Let's open our mouth and say, Lord God, come and do that in my life. Come and do that in my ministry. Do that in the grace that I need. The, the Lord, abounding the grace to be able to do exploits, not the just to, to, Lord, to, to, Lord, to, to be King. at the level where the I'm not accomplishing Lord, anything. Lord, we want to be able to accomplish Lord, much. Let's one. commit ourselves to God this morning and you say, Lord, one, oh God, this ministry you have called us into, we want to be able to accomplish great things for God. Let's pray and say, Lord, for that grace upon my life, I need your grace, the grace to, 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 to do the will of God, the grace to propagate the gospel, the grace, you know, to live for God, for God's glory. Let's pray, Lord, for your grace upon my life. Cause your grace to abound in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That God will cause us to be effective. He will give us grace for effectiveness. Grace for fruitfulness. 
grace, you know, for, for, for progress and for prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord, he will move us forward. He will move us forward. He will move us forward as we are striving and doing everything that we need to do to, 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 to move on in our life and in our ministry. Let's pray that God of heaven by his grace, he will, he will lift us up. That is grace will be sufficient. It will be sufficient grace, abundant grace in the name of us to accomplish our mission, to accomplish the vision of the AML, and to accomplish, you know, the things that He has called us to in ministry, in life, professionally, you know, ministerially and secularly in the name of Jesus Christ. We need the grace of God. We need the abounding grace. We need the grace of God. Let's pray, Lord, multiply your grace upon our lives. Multiply your grace upon our lives. Multiply your grace upon our lives. That in the ministry that we have, we'll be able to accomplish great things for your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. Thank Mighty you. God, Lord, I feel God of heaven, your grace be multiplied upon our lives, oh God. Yeah, you move us forward, oh God, in life and in ministry, oh Lord God of heaven, that Lord, we, our ministry will be fruitful, fruitful, progressive, productive, that Lord God of heaven, so that we can have effective impact in our communities, in our families. In our, you know, places of work, Lord, help us for that grace upon our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If you look at the life of 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 of, of people that accomplish great things for God in 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 the, in the scriptures, you see that you know the grace of God was much. That's why Apostle Paul was saying that he say, "I am what I am." by the grace of God. I am what I am by the grace of God. And we knew the exploits of Apostle Paul. You know, we know a, a lot of stuff, a lot of things that he did, you know, to expand and to, 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 to accomplish great things, you know, in the propagation of the gospel. We know how the grace of God, he, he was able to do all those things. And he, at the end, he was saying that he, he was able to do all this. He said, I am what I am. I'm able to do all this, to accomplish all these things, not by my in my own power, not in my own strength, but by the grace of God. And that's the reason we want to pray this morning. You know, Apostle Paul, God used him greatly. And, and, and he used other people too. We can talk about Joseph. We can talk about Joshua. We can talk about uh, Daniel. We can talk about, you know, uh, all the other uh, people like, uh, like, like David, you know, they 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 were they accomplished great things and we saw how they were able to do that by the enablement of the grace of god and so we are going to pray that the lord god of heaven will help us too that as we have things to do in the ministry and things to do in our own uh, you know personal lives and and in our pro callings in our professional lives we need to, we have a, a lot of stuff to do to be able to accomplish a lot of things, but we need the grace of God. Let us pray that as God gave that grace to Apostle Paul, and he gave to David, and to Daniel, and to Joshua, and to all those people, and they were able to accomplish great things in their own generation for the glory of God. Let us pray. Lord, do the same thing in our own life so that we can accomplish great things for God's glory in Jesus' name. My brothers and, and sisters, without that grace, Without the abounding grace, we, 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 because it says, without me, you can do nothing. We need his grace. We need his grace. He is our helper. Let's pray this morning that, Lord God, bring help to us through your grace to be able to do the things that you have appointed for us to do in the name of Jesus Christ. That we'll be able to see appreciable progress and, and, and impact in the things that we are doing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to be able to accomplish things for God in our lives and in our ministry. We need that grace. We need that grace. In the, uh, so we are going to pray, Lord God, as you did 
for Daniel, and you did for David, and you did for Apostle Paul, do in my own life and ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and pray and say, Lord, help us. You, Lord, Father, that only and you, God, God, you have given us that yes. help, oh God. And we thank and bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Daniel 11, in Daniel chapter 11, in verse 32, the Bible says, And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall be shall be corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know they are God shall be strong and do exploits. The people that do know they are God they shall be strong and they will do exploits. We are going to pray. The Lord God of heaven will increase us in the knowledge of the Lord, in the power of the Lord, in the grace of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray because the, it's only the people that do know their God, the people that do know their God, that the people that will do exploits. So we are going to pray this morning and tell the Lord God of heaven, give us that extra knowledge, a deeper knowledge, that God will take us into a deeper knowledge of God, a deeper knowledge of his wisdom, a deeper knowledge of his power, a deeper knowledge, you know, of, 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 of his grace, so that we'll be able to do exploits, because they that know they are God, they will be strong, and they will do exploits. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord God of heaven, take us deeper, into the knowledge of God, into the knowledge of God's power, into the knowledge of God's wisdom, into the knowledge of, these are the things that we need, the resources that we need. We need the, the knowledge of God. We need the power of God. We need the strength of God. We need the grace of God. We need the enablement that comes only from God. Without that, we can do nothing. Without that, we'll be helpless and powerless. So let's pray and tell the Lord, God of heaven, we need that enablement in the not to grow. That first God of heaven will help us to grow in the knowledge of the Lord, in the wisdom of God, in the power of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because if we are going to be able to do exploits, if we are going to just be able to go from the from the ordinary to the extraordinary, if we, are able to, if we are going to be able to do exploits and accomplish great things for God, for our ministries, for our families. You know, for, for, for professional life, we need that grace of God. We need to, to that, that knowledge of God. You know, it will be a knowledge from the ordinary. You know, you, it's not just the ordinary knowledge I, 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 I know God. You want to know him experientially. You want to know him. The Apostle Paul says that I may know him. I, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. That I may know him. Even we Apostle Paul, that has been to the third heaven, he was still we saying that I may know him Jesus, and the power of his resurrection. We are going to pray and, and say, Lord God, God of heaven, open my God eyes and, God and God give God me God a new God revelation God of your power, of your wisdom, of your mind. Increase me in the knowledge of God. Cause me to grow in grace and to grow in wisdom and to grow in the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ so that I'll be able to accomplish great things Without that, without that knowledge, then I will, be, I, will, I, will just, I will just remain in the ordinary. We don't want to just be the ordinary because it's only those that know their God, that really know their God, that will be able to do exploits and accomplish great things for God, for our ministries, and to, to fulfill the calling of God upon our lives. Let's pray, Lord, we need your grace. Lord, take us deeper into the knowledge of Christ. Take us deeper into the knowledge, into the wisdom of God. Increase that wisdom in our heart. Increase us in the knowledge of God. And by the power of that knowledge, we are able to accomplish great things 
of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Why is it that we are laboring and laboring and laboring in life in ministry, and it looks like we are not making any impact? It's because we are not we, we lack that knowledge of God that we need to have. It's because we are lacking the, 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 the abounding grace that we are supposed to have. Let us pray and say, Lord God of heaven, today increase your grace in my life. Let me grow and increase in the knowledge and in the wisdom of the almighty God from whom all, all blessings flow. Let's pray and say, Lord God of heaven, help me lift my eyes to look with faith. He said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Let's pray that God of heaven will multiply that grace upon our lives and it will, it will take us deeper into the knowledge of Christ so that we can grow in grace and grow in wisdom and grow in godliness and grow in obedience to God that his grace must, will be multiplied in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory God, Lord God of heaven, move your first word, O God, prosper your work in a hand. Help us, O God, to fulfill the calling of God upon our lives, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Glorify yourself, O Lord, God, for our lives. Yeah. It's not ministry, so Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you're calling upon our lives, O oh God of heaven, O oh Lord God, will be able to fulfill our calling. Apostle, when the Bible says, tell Archippus to remember uh, to fulfill his ministry. Lord, help us, O oh God. The grace that we need, O oh God, to fulfill the ministry of called us into. Lord, you give us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that God, you will remove from our lives, all those things that are hindrances, hindrances, hindrances. Oh Lord God of heaven, you take hindrances away, obstacles, oh God, that are hindering us from progressing in our lives and our ministry. Lord, I pray you remove all the obstacles, so God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and your name will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Glorify yourself, oh Lord God. Glorify yourself, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I think I will leave it for uh, somebody else to continue from here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want us to remember that we cannot uh, carry on this ministry successfully without the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So that is the reason why at this, for the next five minutes, maybe I would like us to pray for the power of the Holy Ghost to come upon all the ministers in this fellowship, as we see in the book of Acts 2, from verse 1, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. So that is telling us that indeed, if we must be effective in, in this ministry, we need to be empowered at all times. Yes. And that is the reason why we must pray at this particular point in time. 
that indeed the Holy Ghost will empower this fellowship. And when we begin to pray, you know, we begin to see things happening, miracles happening, and a lot of people will be attracted, you know, to this fellowship. So I want us to go to God in prayer this morning, asking the Lord that indeed we need his power upon us to direct us in everything that we are doing because it is God's work. It is not our work. And therefore, we have to do it in God's way. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we just want to thank you this moment. We pray, oh God, as we give a seat, the early church, before they could embark on an effective ministry, we see that indeed, they were in the upper room waiting for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Father, we just thank you this morning, oh God. Let that power come upon us so that we begin to see how, you know, this fellowship uh, will progress because we cannot do it by our own, own way or in our own way. It is only to the direction of the Holy Spirit. We want to commit all the president and all the executive members of this fellowship that the power of God will come upon them so that everyone will be effective, everyone will be energized. Mighty everyone God. Will be interested the Lord God for all our executive members. The Lord has been trusted on the all the executive members. Father, of God. we want to trust for God. Branch. Lord, Father, moment, Lord, you every executive of member of this Holy body. Lord. Oh God. Lord, we are calling upon you, oh God. Help Lord, us. Father, we, cannot, Lord, we cannot do much without your power, without this anointing, oh God, mighty Father. Lord, help us. Without you, Lord, I'm calling upon you this moment, oh God. Move this day in your mighty power. Do oh wonders, oh God, in our lives, oh God, in Jesus' name. Glorify your holy name this hour. Lord, we pray, oh God, mighty Father. You will power, oh God, we come down. Upon us, oh God, so that Lord God will be effective, oh God, Lord, in the work of the ministry, in the work of the propagation of the gospel, in our, in the in our in, name of Jesus in, Christ. In, in our, in our oh, private Lord. process, we will commit the oh, fellowship. God. We will pray. Oh, Lord, I pray. We will God. pray that indeed, Lord. not only the executive members meet when you even will. there is a general meeting. <laughs> We we'll only see mostly the executive members coming, coming, attending. Lord, we want to draw, you know, multitudes from our different churches, members of our churches, to attend the fellowship. Whenever we have a general meeting, we need oh God of of the participation. We want to see this fellowship grow. Of our fellowship. We want to see, we want the fellowship you know, the power of the Holy Ghost moving in our midst. The fellowship of God that of heaven. We, we will not find some wonders. Anything taking place, oh God. We need. Oh we God will not disappoint God. The fellowship has come, Lord God of heaven, you know, oh to Virginia, so that, pray that we Lord can do God. our best. We can draw yes, others Lord, that into purpose, this fellowship. For which you and through this fellowship. fellowship in many will be developed. And that purpose will be fulfilled. A lot of other people will be developed. Members who will become ministers in our uh, various churches. Let's go to God in prayer this morning. And ask the Lord that He will help us. That Lord, and indeed, this members of our churches in will become interested in this fellowship. That will be for God of we will see. That the fellowship indeed, of God, the Lord will help us. The power of God. That this and fellowship Lord, will become a viable fellowship 
Because fellowship and Bible fellowship. It is empowered by the Holy Ghost. A productive fellowship in the name of Jesus Christ. That Lord, they will be people begin to see. All this you know, and say, God, what we are doing, signs and wonders, our productivity, oh Lord God, Father, taking up, taking place. Let's pray and at this moment. Life and ministry, oh Lord, and the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, help us. Mighty God of heaven, pray, oh God, Father, Father you help we are calling God. upon you this moment, oh God, help us. As you oh Lord, do, oh help Lord, us, mighty Father, in the door of Pentecost. in this moment, oh God, oh God, in our life, do it, oh God, in our we life. know so, that indeed. Father, Transform Lord, my life. Transform you have my given life. us the authority to have this fellowship in Virginia. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you not God will be establish between, our fellowship. You know, Lord, Pastor Eze's ministry, of, it, will only, on, oh, it will not Lord, only consist of Pastor Eze's ministry Lord, and deeper life. We need to see other ministers Lord, from other Lord, denominations Lord, coming to join us. Lord, even as we see from the parent body, we are in this seat. I mean, uh, that will be from now henceforth. The Lord will help us. The Lord will come upon every one of us. We will, we will see it as a responsibility. Father, Lord, yes, Lord, there is even time for us to come together, pray, and pray, and pray. So that, that indeed we will be able to see God, Father, that this fellowship will progress in the name of Jesus. We just want to thank God this moment. We just want to glorify the name of the Lord at this party. In our families, in our communities, and in, in the name of Jesus Christ. That everyone, the power of God will rest upon us. So that indeed, that, that will be fruitful. That this that indeed, indeed will we'll be able to see. That this How will be there God will you. use every one of us. Oh Lord, I pray God From now, henceforth, the Lord yes. will help yes. us yes. this moment. Oh, God, Father, and Lord, from this time on, we will have pastor interest we be in praying to... for the fellowship, in fasting and praying for the oh, fellowship. Lord, God, we will make so much progress. We will see in the name of Jesus. <laughs> but we can't do it without. We will be able to so see that indeed. Your... Oh Lord, we can do it without the power of the Holy Ghost. We we'll just bless your holy name this hour. Let the Holy Spirit glorify your holy name, O oh God. Everyone, so we we'll give you God. praise. We give you praise and thanks, O oh God. In the, the name of Jesus. Jesus. That is in Jesus, 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 Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Another person take over. Another, another person, please take over. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us bless the Lord for the grace of the Lord. Whenever my calls me, and he says, because he passed, he says, man of God. The question I ask myself is that if the call pastor to move you pastor, I can tell the call pastor. But God is considered us all worthy at our various levels. Now we can give us call grace to do that as we have been praying and praying. We, we will not speak to thousands and thousands of pastors to me. Maybe speaking to one or two or three or four or five or six or even ten. But that the, the peculiar calling of God is for a middle society. There are many, not many translations, Pastor Kumis, the great man of God, who speaks to thousands of people. There are very few. But there are a few other people too. And God is called to one, two, three, four, five. So I pray the vision to know who we are in our middle calling. To know what am I called to do. The peculiar calling of God upon your life is not like man. God will open our hearts. Because if we're not doing that, we're trying to be what God has not called us to be. That God will open our eyes to who we are, what He has in our DNA, and the peculiar assignment that He has given us. So that we will not be 
that like demons. You forsook, you forsook form and was never hard of the game. And we pray. Father, we just that we God in the name of Jesus Christ. That Father. which have called me, oh, that Lord, which Lord. have invested in me. Oh, I don't want to be like somebody else. No. I want to be who you called me to be. Yes. Calling, oh and God, I'm asking for all of us we we to pray for ourselves. Who is to be God. And the grace of God to enlarge our vision mm-hmm. and our understand that. Oh Lord, to stay I in our lane, to do what He called us to do. And not to even think of or attempt to be like somebody else. Yes. Or to be envious or jealous of any other minister. Look oh at this church. Lord, have, whatever people we started to know, oh the calling of God on your life and mine are different. Lord, and God will give me the grace to know why I am in Him. Ah. And that which is called me to do by His grace. Ah. And I will not fail God. Oh. In the name of Jesus Christ, and we help your God that I will not fail you, Lord. And your mighty name, Lord. I will not fail you, Lord. You pray for God. To walk in your will, in your fullness. To walk in your grace, in your power. To walk in your will. To be what you want me to be. Doing what you have assigned for me to be. I will not run somebody else's errand. In the name of Jesus Christ. But that which is for me as a minister, anybody who comes, it's a peculiar privilege of God. And your grace shall be so mighty. My own. The devil knows that you and I were not likely to steal. He knows that we're not likely to steal somebody else's wife. He knows that. But he plants an enemy inside us. He attempts to plant an enemy we cannot avoid. He turns the pastors of ministers into weapons against the ministry. And it's so subtle. We are working too much. That this too much. We need this too. Well, that's how this could be right. But sometimes the devil uses them. We are going to ask God. Our wives will be partners in the ministry. Because if you are in ministry and your wife is not with you, the wife has become the enemy in the hand of a, a weapon in the hand of the enemy. That God will possess our spouses in Jesus. I will tell the Lord. Yeah, you know, my children, my partner today, the enemy is looking out for weapons he can use. And the loving one will become an instrument in the hand of the enemy. We say, Father, we anoint our wives with the power of God and the Holy Ghost power will continually envelop them. They'll be effectual partners with us in the ministry. And that which I've called us to do, we shall fulfill it. There will be no distractions. Oh, Many God. ministers are not the great men of God, Apostle Babalala, for instance, Charles Wesley, for instance. So many, even today, when their wives, good, they may seem to have good intentions, but they become distractions to the minister. 
that God will help us, that our spouses will not be distractions for us in the ministry, in heaven. the name of Jesus. There will be encouragement and motivation for the work of the ministry. The encouragement in Jesus' name, the work of we pray. In the name yeah. of Jesus Christ. Amen. I yield the rest of the time. I stepped in because nobody was uh, speaking up, you know, what they call um, uh, empty with pilot in the broadcasting. Hello, Pastor yes. can you please take over and seal the prayer for us because some of us are leaving for the wedding. All right. Almighty God, let's commit, let's just commit the rest of the few minutes that we have into God's hands and ask that Lord God, all that we have prayed, even the short time that we have spent, that God will glorify himself, that, you know, we will begin to see the, 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 the answers to our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. I mean, there's no, so much that we, 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 we can really pray about, but we, we, we don't have all the time. We are going to pray that the God of heaven, even, you know, but, but, you know, little is much when God is in it. Like we are going to pray that even the time that we have spent today, that we will begin to see the impact begins to see the effect of our of answered prayers in our lives, in our homes, in our ministries, in our families, in the name of Jesus Christ. There's so much that God can do in us and do through us, even in the AMF in, in Virginia. I mean, this can be, you know, a, a, a breaking ground for people that will to do exploits for God. We are going to pray that the Lord God of heaven himself will glorify himself. Like his grace upon our lives. At this moment, you will move. God, our ministry will be effective and in You know, like our brother said, like our pastor was saying, we will come here to this place, not just for ourselves. God has so much for us. And we want us, you know, the grace of God, the, the anointing is giving us, the empowerment is giving us, he wants us to use it for his glory, you know, to expand, you know, the, 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 the kingdom of God and to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ, to exalt Christ, to not just be running up and down, and say, I believe that I will to myself. Let's whatever we are doing, we united. We will be one. We will have the same goal, the same mind, you know, to propagate the message of Christ and to and to do exploits. Let's pray that God will multiply His grace upon our lives, so that His grace will be so abounding in our lives that we will, be, will abound to every good work for Christ, for His glory. Secularly, ministerially, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We appreciate you, our God and our Father. What a mighty God you are. Thank you for the time that we have spent together. We bless your name. We worship you. We honor you. We pray that, Lord, in a mighty way, you will reveal yourself and your power in our lives, in our ministries, and that your name will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that God, God of heaven, you have called us into ministry, and you have, you have a purpose, and you have a plan, and you have a goal. Lord, I pray that every one of us, ministers, members, executives, Oh, Lord, I pray, God of heaven, the purpose for which you have called us into ministry, that purpose we will fulfill by your mighty power in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, God, you will help us, that we will not disappoint you, we will not fail in the assignments that you have committed into our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. We need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. We need the endowment of power from on high to be able to do your work effectively. Therefore, Lord, I'm praying and asking, oh, God, that you will open heaven. Pour your spirit upon us, upon our spouses, upon our members, upon our leaders, upon our pastors, that God will be able to fulfill effectively the work of God, the, 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 the purpose of God for our lives, for our ministries in the name of Jesus Christ. Cause yeah. our ministries to grow, make us fruitful and impactful, that in our in our communities, in our in, in, in this Virginia, 
Lord, we'll be able to have the right impact and effect in the life of the people to draw them to Christ and to the glory of the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the time that we have spent. We pray that, Lord, as we dismiss now, your presence will abide with us in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you, mighty God, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 I'm very sorry, Ma, for my back. Uh, we thank you so much, uh, First Lady, for a short time and how God has used you and used all our ministers that also helped him. We thank all of you. God bless you for all our members. Uh, I'm very sorry that we had a uh, short notice, but you honored it. God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Apostle Eze, please, could you give us benediction? Actually, and then you, we're going to send a new uh, information with regard to the, how we will, will consider um, the, the date. If we have a word, then how do we go by it? The executive had a meeting, but we, will, we want to extend it to all the members for us to have deliberation on it thoroughly and to get a resolution of how we will go by it. Either we move it to a different day or we will use the prayer session as we have used. Whatever be the case, we will have the resolution of it so that in the near future there wouldn't be like imprompt uh, changes. Uh, thank you for your understanding. Apostle, if you are on the land, um, let's, start, let's share the grace together, lead us for the benediction. Apostle, is it? I don't think it's there. Okay. Now, Pastor, is here, please. <laughs> let's share the grace of fellowship. Hear that? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. With goodness, goodness and mercy and follow us all the days of our lives. And we, and we shall, shall dwell in the house of the Lord, Lord forever and forever. ever. Amen. Amen. God richly bless all of you. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. And Pastor Yusia, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> we we'll see you in 30 tomorrow. See you. <laughs>